Hi, this is Mike with Make, and I am here at MakerCon with Zach Kaplan of Inventables, who just got off stage, uh, made a very exciting announcement about their uh, CNC software package, Easel. Why don't you tell everybody, uh, what, what's the latest with Easel? Sure, so today on stage we announced that Easel is now free and open to the public, so you can get 3D carving in the browser. You just go to easel.com. That's great. So um, previous, I know that you, you launched Easel at, uh, at South by Southwest a few months back in March. Um, tell me about how the... Uh, the the release of Easel has gone over the over these past few months. Yeah, it's been super exciting. Uh, we did a, a slow release. So first we let in about, ten, we, we got about 4,000 people who signed up the day we launched. And then we let first in 10, then 100, then 1,000. Uh, we let everybody on the waiting list in a few weeks ago. And today, it's open to the public. All right. And you did this staggered rollout as this was to um, make sure the system didn't crash? Yeah, so we want, like, we, normally with software, nobody gets hurt. But when you're dealing with 3D carving, you click the button. Things can happen, and so we tested on all our machines, but we hadn't tested it on lots of machines. Um, so we wanted to make sure that nobody got hurt before we just like said willy nilly, go if, go for it. Great. So and now um, anyone uh, that wants to, they can jump into Easel, uh, Easel.com, and um, and and they can start using their their machines with uh, which a really simple and and elegant uh, CNC software solution. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of it. I love it. Uh, what other types of developments have happened with Easel uh, since uh, you sh premiered it at, at South by Southwest? Yeah, so a lot of uh, feature development. We, our engineers had direct contact with a lot of the users, and so we added things like precise positioning. We added things like so you can share. There's a project library. There's an open and easel button. So you can import from a software like Inkscape or Illustrator any SVG file, um, or you can open somebody else's on the web just by clicking the button and remake it. So there's a lot. Uh, when we launched it, it was pretty basic functionality. And over the last six months, it's really developed into a pretty capable package. All right. And what's this year? What are you, what are you showing off? So uh, the demo we did on stage is I, copy, I copied the uh, simple stamp project into uh, my account. And then I, I imported an SVG and made a stamp. And one of the cool features we added recently was the ability to reverse the letters. So if you do a stamp and you just print it out normally, it'll stamp it backwards. So we added a reversing uh, feature. And so then we uh, did a little letter press. So we got the Easel logo and the Make logo uh, stamped onto some, uh, some books. That's great. The, um, and, and, and all the parts that, uh, that you're using, these, these stamps themselves, these are things that uh, you guys supply through inventables.com. Um, which makes the whole thing really pretty, pretty smart. Good system. Yeah, so we have about a thousand different materials uh, in stock in the warehouse. So you can go online, click, and it ships same day. That's great. Um, any any hints at what uh, what people might be looking f uh, towards Inventables to see in the future? No hints, but there are going to be some announcements. All right, great. Well, we'll keep uh, our eyes peeled for it. I'm excited. Uh, great presentation. Thanks for being here, and uh, congratulations on the on the launch. Thanks for having us. This is awesome. Thank All you. Right. Yeah. Thanks, Zach.